Good morning and welcome to 3 Minutes of Truth. Today I want to talk to you about rest and thanksgiving. The Bible says in Psalm 92 and verse 1, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. This is a sabbatical psalm. In other words, it is a psalm or a song they used to sing during the Sabbath. When God instituted the Sabbath, he wanted to teach us to slow down from the busyness of life so that we can make time to deliberately connect with him. So every week, the children of Israel had to train themselves to do nothing and to value rest. Today marks the completion of our first week in lockdown. And I can't help but wonder how many of us have made time to deliberately rest. Yesterday, the Lord arrested me with this thought because earlier in the week, two people wanted to connect with me and my response to them was, this week is too hectic, I'm, I'm a little bit too busy, let's try next week. And one of them asked me a simple question. He simply said, how can you be so busy while the whole world is on lockdown? Obviously, I quickly justified myself by stating uh, a whole lot of good things I've been doing. And then the Lord arrested me and said, Justin, you have to train yourself to find rest from all your labors. It is so easy to find things to keep yourself busy during this lockdown period. But the thing is, you could be missing a golden opportunity to disconnect from all those things so that you can intentionally connect with the Lord. You all know the story of Mary and Martha in Luke chapter number 10. Mary chose to sit at the feet of Jesus while Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. There's always going to be something that needs to be done. But if you want to find rest for your soul, you have to train yourself to relax in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. You see, real rest is not in doing nothing. You could sit on the couch and do nothing the whole day. But if your soul is out of peace, you will never find rest. The truth is the rest we are all looking for can only be found in Christ. So if you want to come out of this lockdown refreshed, you have to train yourself to disconnect from all all the distractions of this world and intentionally connect with your Creator. Psalm 92 gives us an idea on how we can do this. The first thing is you must daily give thanks to the Lord. Every time you give thanks, you're reminding your soul that God is still at work in your life. When you give thanks, you're simply focusing your soul on all the good things that are happening in your life. But when you choose to complain, you're focusing your soul on the bad things that are happening. Now, here is what I know. When your soul is focused on the good things, it relaxes and brings rest into your life. But when you focus your soul on the bad things, it panics and it begins to work over time, even when you are trying to rest. So train yourself to be thankful. Every morning, make time to deliberately declare the loving kindness of God over your life. And every evening, make time to declare His faithfulness. If you do this every single day for the remainder of this lockdown period, you will find rest for your soul. And you will walk out of this lockdown period feeling rested and refreshed. My name is Justin, and this is 3 Minutes of Truth.